Hi and welcome students. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel 2019. This is the first video in a playlist that will cover everything from the beginning of learning Excel all the way through more advanced topics. The playlist will be listed in order of difficulty, starting with this one, all the way through preparing you for your Microsoft Office Specialist exam or MOS exam. I'm going to cover a lot of the topics that you'll see on that exam, but if you're just learning Excel for your career or professional development, that's fine too. I'm going to go over lots of things that you'll see in the workplace as well. So let's get started. You'll see that I'm sharing my screen now and I have a desktop uh, displayed and I'm going to show you how to open up Excel since to use this program you're going to need to learn how to open it. Well I'm going to hit the Windows key on my keyboard. You could find this in the bottom left of your keyboard, usually to the left of spacebar, and when you press the Windows key it will launch your start menu. Alternatively, you could go down here with your mouse and click in the bottom left to launch the start menu as well, but I don't do that. I use the keyboard shortcut on my keyboard. After I do that, I'm going to immediately type in Excel. When I type in Excel, you'll see that Excel pops up right here, and I have Excel pinned to my taskbar. The taskbar is at the bottom of Excel right down here. You may or may not have this. Let's say I didn't have this down here you'll see that Excel's removed. If you're planning on learning about Excel, I recommend adding it to your uh, taskbar at the bottom. So again, I'll type in Excel here, and I'm about to pin it to my taskbar. So I'm gonna right click on the Excel app, and after I right click, I'll go down here and I'll choose pin to taskbar. When I pin it to the taskbar, you'll see an Excel icon has appeared at the end down here. Now, I don't like Excel to be at the very end. I typically like it to be to the right of Microsoft Word. So I'm going to click and drag the Excel icon down at the bottom over here to right of Word. Then to launch the application, you simply click on it. The reason I like to keep it in the taskbar down here is because it's a single click to launch the application. I've now launched it. Looks good. So when we get to Excel, you'll see that uh, it'll open up your or a left menu and a right side menu. This left side menu here shows you your recent Excel workbooks. And an Excel file is called a workbook. So I'll be referring to them as workbooks. And then you'll see that you could open up other workbooks on your computer right here in the bottom section of this area. If you've never opened up Excel before, you're not going to notice anything up here in the recent section. If you've used Excel in the past, you'll see all of your recent workbooks listed throughout this left side. On the right side here, you'll see that these are all of our available templates. Oh, I shouldn't say all of them. These are some of the most popular templates that you could choose from. And you could also search for more templates up here at the top where it says search for online templates. And finally, you could see suggested searches like business, professional, planners and trackers, and so on. I'm going to open up a blank document for this one just so we could see all of the default uh, information that comes on a blank workbook. And I'll click on that. And there we go. Excel is now open. All right. So when we open up Excel, you'll see that your window is displayed. And I always leave my window maximized. Uh, that's to say that I don't like really using like a half screen or something like that uh, for reasons that I'll mention later on within this uh, playlist. But I'll maximize the window by clicking the maximize button. All right. And let's look in the very top left. The top left, this area here is called your quick access toolbar. I don't ever use this because uh, there are shortcuts for all these things like save is control S. Undo is control Z. Redo is control Y. But you can customize it further with different uh, commands down below should you want to do that. Up here in the top middle is the name of our workbook. Remember, Excel files are called workbooks. So you'll see that it's called book one and then it says Excel. This right here will change if we were to change the name of our file, and we may do that uh, later on in our playlist. I'll show you how to save and save as and what the difference are, differences are between those two. Over here on the right side, you should see your name or the computer that you're using, some ribbon options, which we'll all explain later, and then minimize, maximize, and close. The next area is the ribbon of our um, Office document. And so Microsoft Office 365 or Microsoft Office 2019 uses a ribbon menu for navigation. Now the ribbon area starts up here with the word file and ends all the way down here in the bottom right 
where you see this uh, collapse the ribbon option. And so this area here is called the ribbon. The first tab in the ribbon is the file tab. This tab is the first one, but the default one is the second one, which is the home tab. And you'll see that one has a light colored background, letting you know that that's the one selected. Click insert on your Excel, and you'll see that a completely different list of different commands appear down below. Click page layout, click formulas, click data, and so on. You'll see that all of these have different commands associated with them. Now, these are all called tabs, and the only tab that will take you to somewhere other than commands is the file tab. Click the file tab, and you'll see it takes you to a backstage menu. This is where you can open up a new document, find info on your current document, save the document, save as the document, save it as a PDF, print, share, export, publish, or close the document. I know I keep calling it a document, but technically it's a workbook. All right, so all those things um, there. Then at the bottom, you'll see more general options like your account options for Microsoft Office, feedback for Excel, and options, which will display more uh, options for your Microsoft Office experience. I'm going to explain a lot of these things throughout this playlist, but today it's just a brief overview. Next up, you'll see the, the rest of the tabs, again, do not take you to that backstage menu. Instead, they display a list of different commands. Now, you've heard me reference commands a couple times to this point, and you may not know what I'm talking about. Commands are listed right under the tabs, and you'll see be below the Home tab, we have Paste, Cut, Copy, Format Painter. These are different things that we can do within our spreadsheet, like copy and paste things. But all of these commands are listed right here. So if I said, hey, go to the Home tab and click Cut, that one might be pretty easy for you because it's the first one. But what happens if I say go to the Home tab and click Find and Select? Well, you might have to look through all these. Maybe you don't know what their names are, and you'd have to get all the way down, all the way to the right side, and then you'd finally see Find and Select. Well, that's not a very efficient way to navigate through commands within Excel, especially if you're using my playlist. My goal is for you to be able to follow along without uh, without necessarily looking at the video. So I'll never just say go to the Home tab and click Cut, or I'll never say go to the Home tab and click Find and Select. Instead, I will use a group to help you get to that specific area, so then you only have to look through a few commands. And so you'll see at the bottom, below the commands, there's some non-clickable buttons that, or I shouldn't even say buttons, non-clickable text that appears, like Clipboard. Clipboard starts on the far left side of, of this uh, tab, and then it goes to right there where that vertical line is at. Everything within this area here is the clipboard group. All right, so the group is listed at the bottom. So tabs are at the top, groups are at the bottom, and commands are in the middle. So now if I wanted to tell you to go to find and select, I would say go to the home tab, Go to the editing group, you can see the word editing over here, and then go to find and select. And then you'll be able to quickly navigate through. So now your eyes should go home tab, and then if I say editing group, you only have to look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words. You'll get to that word. And then if I said find and select, you'd have to go, okay, two, three, four, five, that one right there. Okay, so instead of having to look through 30, 40, 50 commands at a time, you just have to look through about 10 different things to see to find even the last command on this list. So that's how I navigate through using uh, the ribbon. And so home tab, editing group, find and select. That way you can easily navigate through my playlist. All right, next thing I wanted to go over is uh, a dialog box launcher. This is another navigation tool that I'll use throughout the class. And if we go to the home tab here and the clipboard group, I want you to look at the very bottom right of the clipboard group. And if you see that, it has a little icon and it looks like a, like a right angle and an arrow. And if you click that, it opens, uh, that's not a good example because that one actually opens up on a left side pane. Let's go to the alignment group rather and click the dialog box launcher. 
And when you click that, you'll see that another window will pop up on your Excel window. And this has additional alignment options for you to choose from. So things like text orientation, horizontal and vertical alignment, wrap text, shrink to fit, merge cells, basically additional options that didn't make it into the main ribbon area. So um, this allows you some additional options. And again, that's the dialog box launcher in the bottom right of a group. It's not in every group, but it is in some of them, and we do use these commands from time to time, so I want to make sure that you know what that is called and how to navigate to it. The next thing over here is you'll see the name box. The name box currently says A1, as long as you have the cell A1 selected. You'll see the formula bar right over here. I'm going to go over these two things in separate videos on the playlist, uh, just so I can communicate what they actually do further. Next up, you'll see a list of letters A, B, C, D, E. Excel, it has these letters up for each of the columns. Okay, think about columns as like Greek columns. They are vertical and they go down the column, right? So you'll see that we have a bunch of letters. When we get to Z, it doesn't end. Instead, it goes to A, 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 B. AC, and so on. Now you might be wondering, where does Excel actually end? Does it end at ZZ? The answer is no, it ends at XFD. When it gets to ZZ, it goes AAA, AAB, AAC, all the way to XFD. So you'll have plenty of room to work with in terms of columns in Excel. You should never really run out of column space. All right, next up, uh, and if you are running out of column or row space, you should probably use a database program like Access or something else. All right, so let's see here. What are these numbers? One, two, three, four. These are our rows. Rows go, go horizontal. All right, so you can see right there. And if you click on any of the row numbers, it selects the entire row from 7A all the way to 7XFD, as I explained earlier. Um, as you go down the rows, it doesn't end at 100. Instead, it ends at 1,048,576. So you have lots of rows to work with. Again, if you end up running out of rows, if you are using more than um, 1 million row, 1 million 486 or whatever it was, um, then you should probably be using a database program. Okay. Um, you could also go down here and see the sheet number. If you do run out of rows and you want to just continue on a new sheet, you would click right there, new sheet, and then you'll see a sheet two uh, displays. And that's how you open up a new worksheet. Finally, you'll see you can um, use the scroll bars on the uh, right or the bottom right to scroll up or down or left or right. You could also hover over any of your uh, Excel chart er or Excel area and zoom in with control and scroll up or zoom out with control and zoom or and scroll down. So that's a little bit about the Excel window and how to navigate around this program. In this playlist, I'm going to be going over a lot more um, in detail things as we continue, but I wanted to make sure that you understand the, um, the language that I'm going to be using throughout this playlist. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the, the time to watch this, and if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.